Hi, I'm Brandon Kennedy, the Chief Product Officer at Losant. All of the devices and data in the world don't mean anything unless you can deliver something valuable to your users. But implementing user authentication, actually building the user interface, integrating that interface with your data, and then hosting all of that somewhere is not an easy task. That's where Losant's end user experiences comes in. So let's jump into the platform and take a closer look. What I've got open here is an overview page for a Losant experience. Losant is really designed to deliver or publish some kind of connected solution to your users, and our experience functionality provides a lot of tools to do that. So if we look here on the left, we can see some of those features. We've got built-in user authentication, user groups. We've got API endpoints or browser endpoints. Uh, we've got the ability to create custom user interfaces and then connect all of that with custom domains. Before I dive too deep into experiences, I want to show a couple of examples. The first is this really nice asset tracking application. You can see we've got the list of assets on the left. We've got battery level, signal strength. The center shows a map of the real-time location, and it's even got Google Street View integrated. And as you can see, this is an entirely custom user interface on top of all of the devices and data that Losan is managing. And the second is from one of our customers, Verizon. They use this application to track the location and other information for their cellular kiosks all over New York City. At this point, let's jump into a simpler example so we can see what this looks like under the hood. Losant has a smart office with a lot of sensors, and sometimes we need to do maintenance on those sensors. We've created a maintenance log so we can track what activity has been performed. This information is stored behind the scenes in a data table. So let's go check out the data table real quick, and then we'll dig in to see how we build a custom experience on top of that data. So as you can see here, our maintenance log data table has two columns, the action and the device. So the most recent entry here is just a notification that we recently installed a Samsung SmartThings hub. Quickly looking back at the experience itself, you'll see we've got the ability to add new entries and we've also displayed that list of entries. So that same information we just saw is displayed here. So let's go in and see how this is built. Each experience starts with endpoints. Endpoints are the routes that a browser or API client will request. In this case, for our maintenance log, we've got two. We've got the ability to get the maintenance log, which will render that page. And then we also have a post, which will allow us to add maintenance log entries from that page. We then have pages themselves. So in this case, we've got the maintenance page. Let's dig into that. There are two types of pages within Losant. We've got a custom page and a dashboard page. The dashboard page allows us to very quickly return a pre-built dashboard to our users. But in this case, since we want a little more control and a little more customizability, this is a custom page. Custom pages give us full control over the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript that's returned to the users. So in this example, this is a simple HTML page that first displays that form to add new entries and then displays that list of entries at the bottom. But just like everything else in Losant, the actual logic behind this page is done with a workflow. So let's check that out. So as you can see, this workflow is triggered by both of our endpoints, our get maintenance endpoint and our post maintenance endpoint. Whenever the endpoint is requested by the browser, the only thing we need to do is query our data table to retrieve our maintenance log entries, and then we simply render that page back to the user. Whenever information is posted to this endpoint, we'll do a data table insert to insert that new maintenance log entry. And then again, we just query all the maintenance log entries and return those to the user. So this workflow is doing all of the business logic behind our custom maintenance log user interface. So if we return to the maintenance log page, we can see how all this comes together. So let's say I wanted to add a new motion sensor to the back door. When I submit a new maintenance log action, you'll see the page refreshes and that new maintenance log entry is now added to our data table. If we return to the data table, we'll see that same information there as well. The other page I want to show is an example of one of those dashboard pages. So here I'm on the maintenance page, but if I return to the home page on our experience, we'll see our LoSant Smart Office dashboard within our custom user interface. 
So this is showing our Smart Office dashboard. And because it's inside our user experience, we have completely custom branding on top. It's wrapped in our user authentication. So we can show the same information we've already built with a dashboard, but then can control user authentication and user access to this information. Well, this completes the demo for Losan's end user experiences functionality. From here, I would recommend going to Losan University, which provides a much deeper dive into everything I've shown. I'd also recommend checking out our documentation. And if you're ready to start evaluating Losan to see if it's a good fit for your organization, you can always jump into the sandbox and start building. Mm -hmm.